Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are continuing our journey with the Tarot 101. I want to apologize. I know that we said we were going to be uploading every Sunday. Um, sometimes it gets a little bit chaotic on my side uh, with consultations, healings, um, spell work that we are heavily starting the year with. Uh, so we have been a little bit backed up, but um, I am going to continue uh, giving you guys these lessons. I want to make it a priority, um, although sometimes our schedule is going to be a little bit a little bit hectic, but here we are nonetheless. So let's continue on our journey. Along the journey of the fool, we came to know the Empress. Now, we are here face to face with the emperor, the consort of our empress, the masculine counterpart of our divine feminine. Card number four. Son of the morning, chief among the mighty zodiacal trump of Aries, ruled by Mars. Sol exalted. Tree of life path number 28. He is seated in his throne, whose capitals are the heads of the Himalayan wild ram. Aries means a ram. To confirm this attribution to the lower plane for the ram by nature is a wild, courageous animal. Lonely in lonely places, whereas when tamed and made to lie down in green pastures, nothing is left but the docile and succulent beast. This is the theory of government. Card number four. Four completes a square, and it also speaks about stability, but also conflict. We need duality and opposition. We need conflicts to overcome triumph over adversities. It's a universal patriarch, structured, authoritative, self-disciplined, and opposing. He creates structure in a world that is chaotic without his careful leadership. Attentive and enthusiastic, he rules responsibly, enforcing a state of peace and harmony. But be careful. He will not hesitate to engage and or go to war to preserve that peace and structure. Much like the Empress, the Emperor has constructed a world where safety and balance is of the utmost importance. However, unlike the Empress, he understands that this cannot be achieved without laws and rules supporting structuring and uniting his people. Key words when thinking of the Emperor. It is authority, father figure, power, order structure, leadership, self-discipline, and success. If the emperor comes up in your reading, he is here to provide you with a solid, continual way of life. There are no reasons for excuses or random behavior. The emperor is pragmatic, regal, and he's full of action and drive. No room for mistakes. This card represents possession domination and authority and communicates that currently your life needs direction. It is time to embrace your capabilities. The emperor will assist you in achieving the ultimate success. The need to understand structure, confidence, discipline, and trust your skills to get a much needed job done. And of course, he says, do not rely on others to get things done. Do not expect that others can do as good of a job as you are capable of doing. His throne shows his power and dominions and authority, the central importance of rulership. The ram's the symbol of Aries, courage and aggression. Aries is ruled by Mars, the planet of war, suit of armor made of iron and steel, showing he is a protector and not afraid to battle for a higher cause. 
red, the primary color in this card speaks of the connection to the first root chakra, tribal identity and survival, desire, passion, aggression, and romance. The white beard speaks to his higher wisdom, dignity, and experience. This emperor has gone to many wars and has won each battle because of the experience and wisdom, methodical thinking, and his primal survival instincts and spirit. He's the father figure that knows when to listen, yet also a warrior that knows when to pick up his sword. The emperor is the father that teaches us to always be on the lookout for positive direction. He helps us to plan and work each day while at the same time learning to master our self-discipline. Much of what Aries is known for, the, er the emperor has mastered through his years of experience. Upon his shield is the eagle that identifies him with what the alchemist called the red tincture. The red tincture is a symbolic and fiery action and nature of the sun and gold, just as the white Venus sign on the Empress shield identifies her with the white tincture, symbolic of the action and nature of the moon and silver. Detecting, we must first find the white tincture, then the red tincture to unite them to accomplish the great work. What does the emperor remind you of in your everyday life? Or is it a character that you connect with, whether it's on a show, TV series, or a movie? As an example, the emperor to me signifies my father figure. My father, when he was much younger, he did not hesitate to show aggression, to protect his family, to protect his loved ones. Yet, he was caring and patient in nature, much like he has shown throughout the years. He's very diligent, very smart. By carrying a conversation within 10, 15 minutes, my dad was capable of reading a person's character. Much of the qualities that I admire in him are a true reflection of what the emperor signifies. Yes, he is structured. He is responsible. He is disciplined. He relies on no one else but himself to make things work. An amazing leader. But he does not rule with tyranny. He is a leader that works amongst his people. Always humble. Always respectful. Understanding that it is important and crucial as a leader to inspire those amongst us because it gives them a passion, because it gives, keeps them motivated. The opposite, what the emperor would signify in a reverse position would be the polar opposite of this. It is a person that cannot show <clears throat> or has not been able to master his aggression. Whereas in an upright position, the emperor is a person that will think before they act. It speaks a lot about the Aries zodiac sign, what they're known for, impatient, aggression, fierce, and stubborn. But the emperor has mastered this because as you can see from his beard and his white hair, it has been a mastering throughout the years. He is patient, pragmatic, understanding, but will not hesitate to raise that shield or that sword to cut or completely demolish the enemies. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this gives you a better insight into the emperor. And we'll see each other again soon. Till then, bye.